Hey there everybody, my name is Liam and this is my hobby room, and welcome one and all to Tool Time! Tool Time! It's Tool Time! This is the first episode in a series I'm making to highlight potentially useful tools and supplies for the astute hobbyist. Just like you and me, huh? With these videos, it's my intention that you'll have more information to make a better buying decision and decide whether or not you want to add this or that tool and supply to your collection and expand or bolster your own skill set. So today, I'm going to talk about weathering pencils. Did you know there was such a thing? You do now! It's no question that with the right application of weathering techniques, you can really make your kit look like it's been beaten down or battle damaged or that it's seen some action, it, or it just gives it that little extra bit of character that it's been missing. Good weathering can tell a story as to where your kit's been and what kind of action it's seen. Has it been sitting in a warehouse for like a hundred years? Is it gathering dust? Has it been trudging through the jungle? Has it been shrugging off bullets and deflecting blades and whatever? Those are all things you can achieve with weathering. So introducing weathering pencils from AK Interactive. These watercolor pencils are made with a specially greased paint to allow you to easily jazz up your models. You can buy these in singles, or you can buy these in packs of five, or you can buy them in a big, uh, complete selection of all of them. They're advertised to be able to simulate scratches, chipping, dust, dirt, and grime buildups, rust, uh, shading, panel lighting, and tonal shifts, uh, which is quite a lot. That's quite a lot to put in the old tool belt, so let's see how they measure up. The first step before you use these pencils is to give your model kit a matte coat. I tried using these simply on matte painted surfaces and they did not adhere well. Uh, so use your top coat of choice and get rid of that gloss. If you're wanting to use these pencils on an unpainted kit, the same rule applies. Like if you just built one out of the box, you don't want to paint it, you just want to give it some weathering. Just make sure you give it a matte coat and you'll be fine. Let's take a look at the pencils. So they're sold in singles, uh, or you can get them in theme sets of five, and also a complete collection. Uh, I'll put the links down in the description below. You can see they come out of the box blunted, but that's so the tips don't break in transit. Just take any pencil sharpener and gently give the tips a little zhuzh, give them a little zhuzh. I got three sets here. I got the green and brown shading and effect set, I got the black and white shading and effect set, and I got the chipping and aging set. Uh, because the kit that I'm going to be using today is kind of painted in a dark drab green, they seem kind of appropriate. I'm planning on using these for scratches, chipping, and rust primarily, so thankfully there's a good selection of colors here. So now you're ready to start. Take the model you've just matte coated and plan out what colors you're going to apply where. We're starting with scratches. <laughs> Metal's very durable, but the paint on top? Not so much. I'm using a light gray pencil without any water to add scratches, but be very careful when drawing them on as they'll wipe off super easily if they don't have water to bond them. Even then, water is a flimsy bonding agent and the oil from your hands will probably just rub it off. How you doing? So this is like the halfway point of the video, uh, and if you're enjoying it so far, why not leave a like down below? It really does help me out. I mean, like, you could leave a dislike too, but it's like a free video, and you could also just leave. <laughs> no one's forcing you to watch me babble, but thank you, those of you that are watching me babble, I really appreciate it, and I hope I'm being of some help. So leave me a like if you like it, leave me a dislike if you don't. Anyways, back to it. Already, things are looking pretty good. I think this kind of dry scratching looks a lot better than, than um, some of the other attempts I've tried. When doing scratching, make sure that you're thinking about where and how your surfaces are getting scratched up. That will help it look a lot more authentic. Ah, it's pretty cool. How about rust? I'm gonna use a couple of different colors for rust, but I'm gonna start with the sepia color. Some people say sepia, but ugh. That sounds gross. Nothing good ever seeps, you know? <laughs> you can add a little bit of pressure and scribble up a buildup of pencil lead. I know it's not lead, but since it's coming out of a pencil, that's what I'm going with. Uh, be careful you don't break the tip when applying, but if you do, don't throw it out. I broke mine and I just set it aside in my palette. I just put a little water on the broken tip and used it as like paint in my palette and that worked fine. Did get a little bit messy though. Applying some of the water to the rust here will allow you to pull it down and streak it. Uh, be sure to stick to areas where the water would naturally pool or bead on, like the edges and recesses of a kit. Those are the places where metal would naturally oxidize. Now that my initial rust pass is dried, I'm taking a lighter brown color and highlighting them just a little. Uh, this time, I'm using less water in the hope that the powdery nature of these pencils when dry would kind of make it look like a rust buildup. This worked to an extent, but these pencils aren't really great for adding texture. That's not really what they're for. Chipping is another process that these pencils can help you with. I've always used a brush to chip, and I'm gonna be honest, I still think chipping with a brush is way more practical. You can either dip the pencil in a bit of water, though be careful because it can get a little messy, or you can 
can draw it on, and apply water with a brush or a cotton swab after. You can pan a line with these pencils too, though this one is one of those situations where just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> uh, personally, I think this is a surefire way to burn through your pencils really quickly. Though the pencil panel lining is super dark, and once you get some water in there, it's actually really bold looking, so that can be kind of cool. Zang! Shading and highlighting can be accomplished in much the same ways. Uh, you can gently lay down a bright and vivid patch or a dark and smoky one and blend it in with water, but keep in mind, keep in mind, Keep in mind that you don't really need much water when doing any of this, depending on how diluted you want your effects to be. It's always safer to start with not enough water and work it up than too much. Dirt and grime buildups can be achieved in pretty much the exact same way as the rusting effect that I did earlier, just with different colors. But dust can be a bit tricky. If you're using this to create dust uh, or you're using pigment patterns, just make sure to use a pigment binder or a top coat to seal in that effect so you don't disturb it and get it all over your hands. It gets super messy and you look like a preschooler who just discovered he could eat chalk. All in all, you know what? I'm actually pretty impressed by these pencils. They can do a lot despite their simplicity and for a beginner modeler, I can see them being a little more intuitive. Uh, just, you know, the familiarity of using a pencil or a stylus as opposed to a brush. Uh, that might be something that, that would be easier for some people. I will say these pencils are not the be-all and end-all of modeling, but they can definitely offer a new perspective and a lot of fun and creative ways to achieve some pretty interesting and impressive results. This video is brought to you by bchobbies.com and you can go over there and take a look at all the different AK Interactive products we have. You can take a look at all these pencils, so take a look down in the link below and you'll see what I've written up down there for all of you. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you have a very deluxe day and I'll see you next time on Liam's Hobby Room. To find love.